Hey guys, and welcome to Janet being Janet. Alrighty, so this one's going to be just a little bit different because I said I was going to do the whole video of explaining, you know, where I went when I just kind of went somewhere. So I put a trigger warning in here just to let you know, let you know this one's not going to be my normal content and to caution you just a little bit because it's going to be a story time. So if y'all get you know, triggered by sensitive subjects in regarding passing and, you know, autism, which involves my son, or, you know, maybe in mental health. If you get triggered by that, and if you get triggered by, you know, like a gory pictures, it's not really gory, but, you know, when it gets to that time when they say, hey, hey, get cut over your eyes. So it, it still be in my personality, but I wanted to tell you where I went because of the simple fact. Uh, people are still worried. Guys, I don't want to say I'm sorry, but hopefully you'll understand a little bit of why I really didn't give an update. So here we go. Okay, guys, I'm going to try to get to the point in this whole story of each little thing, each little thing I say, talk about. But I'm starting this off with a picture of Jordan because this story mainly involves my son. And it, it involves me too, but it involves Jordan. Uh, this first picture is a picture of my son when most people they found out that, you know, it was fully, con been, you know, fully confirmed, hey, you know, yeah, he was in for a surgery, he was cross-eyed and lazy-eyed, and uh, he went in for many surgeries whenever he was young, I'm giving y'all a little bit of a backstory, okay, okay, and uh, so um, I can't post ones where he's like, you know, a baby and tubes and, oh, no, 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 I don't, I, it, it breaks my heart, and I, I can't do it, but uh, this boy, me, me, my, both my boys, my husband, horse, everybody, it means just so much to me. But I call this my immediate family for a reason. So um, let me just, the last time I really released a video or said anything was uh, last year. And I was down in my back because I do have issues. Um, but, oh yeah, so much, you know, and I also said something in a video whenever I spoke about uh, Miss Sassy about, you know, I had a, uh, a passing in the family. And, you know, everything was going good, but it took a turn. So uh, let me j let me just tell you. So I just want to put this out there as just a warning to people or just common sense to people. Um, if someone passes in your family, no matter what, like in the extended, extended family, no matter what, um, just my opinion and the opinion of, you know, my son, Jordan, um, it really is not okay for somebody uh, to announce it on social media before they tell you and yes that is correct we found out about a passing in the family of someone that my son loved um uh, through somebody else on social media and then as time went on we found out that we were not supposed to know anything about the passing all because of me and just let me tell you it, it's been something all in my life and you know I wasn't always you know not sweet to always have an attitude oh yes ma'am yes sir I did I always did and I would always said you know people straight but that's because I was raised in a situation that you know I don't want to explain I don't want to have to go into why I fight and argue I fought and argued so much whenever I was little and um, guys I've, I've been with my husband for 20 years all right 20 years so I've had my little my little close-knit family right here you know for for so long but um it, it took us a while for that to get back to us and when I say a while it, it took a while and that is the reason why I got off social media completely I left no nothing else my focus went straight on to my child and that's it that's it and just to sweeten the pot, guys, okay? Just to sweeten the pot, uh, Jordan and I saw, the, we used to see the same psychiatrist. Well, wouldn't you know, wouldn't you know, our psychiatrist left his office. So he had to leave us in the care of someone else. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. We can do this. Well, we can do this. Um, so you see a lot of me and Jordan just hanging out together because 
we go to a different psychiatrist and they change our meds. Holy goodness, we're going through this time and we're trying to process something. And, you know, I'm just focusing on my child. And the next thing you know, they're switching our meds. Okay, well, let's just see what we're just going to get into here. All right, okay, okay let's just do this. And I'll be gosh darn it. And I'm, I'm telling you guys, I'll be gosh darn it if three months later, three months later, after they had already changed some medication for me and Jordan, um, yeah, that doctor ups and leaves. I couldn't make this up if I tried. That doctor ups and leaves. I'm just going, ah, oh, this is not healthy. This is not okay. We cannot do this. All right. We, we cannot do this. So now then, after we've already been through, you know, another doctor, uh, we finally find a doctor that is closer to us. And let me tell you, the people, the person that we found is absolutely amazing. They are amazing. Um, he works with all of my doctors. You know, Jordan, he's got Jordan regulated out. And I am just so, 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 so proud. And, you know, Jordan's getting back to, you know, his, his spicy little self. You know, it, it took a while. Um, but, you know, we get Jordan figured out. And you want to know what happens to me now. Let me tell you something. Okay? Well, let me tell you something. I am the one that walks around everywhere, barefoot or in flip-flops. And everybody, you, you know, usually watches my channel, they, they, they see that, me with, with flip-flops. <laughs> all this time, me growing up, I always walked around in flip-flops. Or I was always, you know, in, in flip-flops, around the horses, around the cows, didn't care, you know. And I can tell you a story about, you know, why it doesn't bother me with my feet and everything. But, uh... Somehow or another, okay, I do have medical Ill illnesses, and you know, I forgot to tell you, while, you know, this doctor's, you know, changing my meds all the time, my cardiologist had to get involved too. So with my cardiologist getting involved, yeah, I was all, all over the place. But for whatever reason, just boop, out of the blue, my big toes get infected. I don't, I don't not a clue in this world to do but uh, bizarre okay so um yeah warning you're, you're gonna see you're gonna see some so right before thanksgiving i go in and they have to remove i mean they had to remove my big toenails okay it, it was to a point where i i just i had no no choice okay all righty so, they go in and remove my big toenails. Now, guys, um, <laughs> a little bit more medical about me. I have an autoimmune dis disease, okay? And, you know, this this doctor is telling me, the, the, the foot surgeon is telling me. Now, I had already tried to, you know, fight it with antifungal and this, that, and other. Da, 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 da. We, we tried oral stuff and blah, blah, blah. So this doctor is telling me, um, you know, it, it won't be nothing. It, it won't be nothing. He's like, I can remove them in office. And I'm going, oh, no, 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 no. I watched too many YouTube videos about y'all doing that around the toes and, you know, cutting them out, right? So that's when, you know, I, uh, I was placed, you know, in day surgery and I got them removed. Okay, yeah, I backtracked just a little bit. But he's telling me I'm, I'm, I'm going to be okay in just a couple of weeks. Not a problem. No, ma'am. No, sir. Uh, 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 no, that did not happen. I am telling you, I had to stay in bed for Christmas. I posted a, a, a picture on my community tab of me in like this little puffy, uh, yeah, robe and stuff. And, you know, little puffy uh, sandals or whatever, because I could not get my toes to heal. Could not get my toes to heal. The, it, I was going medicine after medicine after medicine after medicine. And on top of that, one of the medicines they put me to, he, you know, he used to put me to sleep on, I didn't even know that it wasn't allowed to be used with some of my other medicines until my pharmacy, because he gave me, you know, some of that medicine to help me, you know, not feel as much pain. And then my pharmacy caught it and he was like, no, we're not giving you any of that to help you. And I'm going, you're telling me something could have happened to me on the actual table? That, that's what you're telling me? Ha, I, I don't get it. And I tell people, you know what? Sometimes if I didn't have bad luck, I wouldn't have any luck at all. Okay? So, yeah, yeah, this happened. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing better, all right? Okay? We're doing good, better. We're, we're, we're getting, and, you know, picture shows. Bitch shows. My toes are looking better, you know, and he's like, you can, it, it's going, it's going to start, you know, you're going to get a little callus there, and you can paint it, and you can do this, I'm like, I don't care, okay, my toes no longer hurt at night when they touch the sheets, 
That's what I care about. You know, I, I, and he goes, don't let any horses step on your toe because you'll be right back in with me. And I'm going, my horses aren't the problem, Doc. You seem to be my problem right now. <laughs> I was like, you're not letting me heal. <laughs> you're not doing something right, you know. And I picked on him the whole entire time. I really, really did. Like, whenever he'd go in there to, you know, rebandage my toe, I'd go, ow, 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 that hurts so bad. Don't touch it. Don't touch your toe. <laughs> It was like, I'm done with you. <laughs> I'm done with you. <laughs> and then I'd walk on my heels. <laughs> I'm like, no, I can't, I can't put any pressure. If you've seen the, seen the top of my feet and my, my story with my feet, you don't understand. Yeah, I, I had to pick on him. But, okay, after the first of the year comes, yes, this is uh, going on. But I'm trying to explain myself because people have been worried about me. And I feel really, really, really bad. But... You know, with my son not in the mental state, and me have I'm sorry, my kids come first, my horses, my family, every, they come first. Okay, so first of the year comes, I'm doing good, and then I realize, okay, I'm starting to get migraine headaches. I've had migraine headaches for for a long time because, uh, yeah, I I have a medical problem to where I could become paralyzed in instant. And there's nothing nobody could, uh, I would be paralyzed from the waist down in an instant, okay? There's nothing anybody can do about it. It's just something that happened to me roughly 14, 15 years ago, and there's nothing that they can do. But, um, so I'm starting to feel really, really bad. I'm like, I got a headache, you know, I, I, I got all this going on. And then I realized, okay, so I have physical exertion asthma, all right? All right, I do. I got physical exertion asthma, all right? So, um, I'm not, I can't breathe. This is weird. I, I just, I can't breathe. I'm going outside going, ah! I felt like I was, you know, in a, I wasn't in Texas anymore. And so I, I'm stubborn. Okay, guys, I am stubborn. I really, really am. I, 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 I'm one of them people that if I am 0.1% right, I am still right. And you have to give me credit for that 0.1%. Okay. Yeah, I'm that way with my family. Okay. If you understand <laughs> <laughs> They're so used to it. it. It's just a thing for us. All right. So um, I uh, finally break down and I go to the doctor. And believe it or not, I have pneumonia. Okay. And it is so bad. The doctor asked me if I uh, even still had my right lung. Ah, uh, uh. Okay. So I'm taking this medicine. All right. And then I go back to the doctor because this is the way it works with my body. Okay, I got one of those little inhalers that you drop, puff, and all that good stuff. And then uh, all of a sudden, you know, we, uh, a month later, I go back to my doctor because I'm going, you know, I think my asthma's acting up. Okay, I, I really do. So I, I was still using my other inhaler. You know, not the, the, not the one that doctor gave me, but my other inhaler. And I'm sitting here going... You know, my asthma's acting up a whole lot more when I go outside. You know, I can't really do anything. And when I go back to my doctor, she goes, you have pneumonia. I'm going, I just had pneumonia. How do I have pneumonia? Again, she goes, walking pneumonia. I'm going, I, I can't do this. I, 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 I'm, uh, I, and the thing is, is I have so many medical issues with my body. I can't tell when something is really, really wrong. One day I may go down some of this stuff, but I can't tell when something is really, really wrong. So... I, I'm, of course, they, they treat me, and I go back to the doctor again, all right, and you'll see what, while I'm sitting in the doctor's office, you know, she's taking a little bit to get to me, which is fine, it's not a problem whatsoever at all, and one of my friends texts me, and she goes, what, what are you doing, I was like, I'm at the doctor, she goes, are you being mean? I was like, no, I'm not being mean. She goes, what do you, what you got now? What do you have now? She's like, there's something always going on with you, isn't there? I was like, it's not my fault. She goes, you ignore it for so long till it gets to a point. You're down for even longer. And I'm going, that's not my fault. It, it's not my fault. Because if I admit it up front, then that takes more time away from what I was doing. <laughs> Okay, that's my logic. All right, it really it is. I'm sorry, guys. I can't help it. Like I said, I, I was raised by my grandparents, so it's a little bit different. It just is, okay? You know, you're, you always get told, my kids were never sick. You know, they never went to the doctor. They, they, that's just it. Okay, yep, that's me. That's me. Uh-huh. Yep. When I first came down with my illnesses, I, I didn't go to the doctor. I didn't go to the doctor until I was absolutely 100% forced to go to the doctor years ago. It, it, there was just no if ands, or bottoms about it. Okay? So, 
I'm just sitting there, and she's like, I, I, yeah, sure, 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 you know, and I got bored, so I started taking pictures of myself and sending pictures of myself from the doctor's office, <laughs> the doctor opens the door, and she goes, oh, my goodness, she was like, what are you doing, I was like, I feel like I'm just living in doctor's offices these days, I really, really am, you know, but when they started changing my medicine all the time, mine and Jordan's medicines, you know, we were in the doctor's office all the time, you know, it's, I try to get mine and Jordan's days on the same exact day, you know, I, I guys it was just chaotic on top of me trying to take care of what was going on with me and Jordan at that time you know with you know, med changes and all that and still the handle in Jordan yes counselor was involved you know all that all that's good I still had my, my little rug rat you know <laughs> I love my, my youngest he, he's a cool I still have my husband you know he, he, yeah he's a pine but you know that, that's just the way it is I still have my horses so I still had a busy busy life plus I wasn't going to post anything on hear about my son because I didn't want to focus anything on social media or anywhere else about what was going on because that would not be fair to him even though it involved me too but lo and behold I've told everybody okay I've told everybody I've gained weight because of this and the weight gain that I have caused is be or I have gotten because I used to be overweight I used to be 250 pounds okay so th this to me you know some people it may be a big deal it's not a big deal to me because I can carry the weight and I can take off the weight that's just the way it is but when you're in a situation to where you're at home all the time you're down you know you're depressed you're focusing on one person you're not you know focusing on anything else yeah it it happens guys and so I'm trying to say I'm sorry, you know, in a way I am, and you know, I, I did, I, I, I appreciate all the messages that I came back to, I really, really do, it means so much to me, guys, it really does, I didn't mean to worry anybody, but I hope that you do somewhat understand the reason why I completely got rid of social media, um, no Facebook, or, you know, I still had it, but I didn't pay attention to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, I think I posted maybe once, maybe twice on YouTube. Uh, I I just I I just quit posting on everything. I quit paying attention because when you when you seriously find out about a passing of somebody who actually told the surrounding family members that they were going to stop eating and they would be with the Lord in four days. And <laughs> the number one thing was don't tell Janet. The number one rule was don't tell Janet. My thing was I, I don't care. Don't allow me there. Don't, don't allow me there. But because of actions my son, who knew that person, who loved that person, who is autistic, who holds on to memories, and it may sound stupid to some people, my son, who still lives in the moment of what happened in the past, he still remembers that. He remembers that person. He remembers being around that person. He remembers all the love for that person, and... All because he has me as a mother he didn't get to say goodbye and as a mom that ripped me up inside and I actually had you know when we first found out you know when we first found out you know nobody we didn't know this information and I, I like I said we were kind of okay with it you know we knew we knew it was going to happen at some point. You know, it, it does. It happens. It, but when all these months later, somebody finally tells you the truth. And the bad part is, is they're not even part of that immediate family. But somebody from the immediate family called him and told him. You know, when that was said that's when everything just kind of went downhill so my whole part is even if that wasn't the case you know even if it wasn't don't call Janet it still appears that way 
And because nobody, absolutely nobody is willing to talk about it, nobody is willing to talk about my son being heartbroken, or was willing, was willing, you know, it didn't affect my youngest as much, but because nobody was willing to talk about it, he didn't have his chance to grieve. He didn't have his chance to say goodbye. It, it was just one of these things. And then on top of that, where I'm going to get just a little bit emotional for a second, on top of that, family pictures were posted, and something was said about the entire family and then I was getting bombarded on social media with messages saying are your kids okay where are your kids you know I bet you Jordan's grown now because I didn't I don't really post pictures of my kids online I I, I really I I don't <laughs> Jordan doesn't like his picture taken I'm sorry Jordan doesn't but I'm just one of those moms you know I used to be posting all kinds of pictures of my kids and then I just realized I was like you know the people that love my kids dearly are the ones that have watched my kids grow up I mean they really have they know my kids personality so I just went first it online but alrighty guys I, I meant for this to be really short and it's not really short and I do apologize for that but you know just just a little PSA out there that, and guys don't please just whatever you do if you don't like somebody don't take it out on their kids okay just just don't just don't do it, it, it it's just <laughs> it's not fair to the kids it it's not so like I said I, I was just gonna let everybody know you know that's where I've been and if I know it's gonna it's made some people upset with me I, I do understand that um but as a parent, I made a choice. Uh, I, I did make a choice. So am I okay now? Yes. Is my son okay now? Yes. Um, the horses are okay. Everybody's fine. We just had to go through a period. And it wouldn't have lasted as long from what I feel if we weren't changing medications constantly. <laughs> so that's, that, you know, that, that's the thing. Oh, and then, okay, I told everybody, hey, I always tell everybody. I have a dry mouth, okay? I have a dry mouth. My mouth is dry. I can't help it. My lips are sticking. Okay, so another thing that I found out. All right, all right, y'all ready for this? Because you know I can't, I can't leave nothing on on a sad note. Okay, I can't, I can't, I can't. All right, but uh, so uh, y yeah, uh, I I found out I have TMJ. <laughs> I'm just going, this is not going to stop. This is not going to stop. My, my, my little medical sheet just keeps growing and growing and growing and growing. <laughs> I'm like, it's easier to list what I don't have at this point. But alrighty, guys. I just wanted to say that's my little spew. And I, hopefully, you know, this helps somebody. You know, it really does. You know, if you feel sick, don't wait like I do. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know all that. But I hope you have a wonderful day. Now, Weekend holiday, yeah. Whenever you might be watching this, and I hope you remember to smile today or make somebody else smile because it really can make a difference. All right, guys, y'all have a good one. Bye.